Welcome to My Performance. In this course, you'll learn about performance management and the evaluation process in My Purpose. Be on the lookout for additional system training coming soon. Your performance management system is changing. Say goodbye to paper and red pins thanks to a new electronic workflow. You will have an important role in the process. Providing feedback to your manager is essential and easy by completing a self-review. Plus, continuous feedback is encouraged throughout the year at any time. And be on the lookout for new e-performance badges for your participation. Many of the concepts of the performance evaluation will remain the same. However, some terms are changing and features are improving. Here are some key terms for the new system. We all remember the back page of our old evaluations, adaptability, teamwork, etc. Those are now called competencies. All employees are assigned core competencies and managers, you will find additional leadership ones assigned to you. These help your supervisors evaluate how you achieve performance goals and perform your job. Job duties once listed on performance evaluations are now referred to as goals. Your goals will include job duties and responsibilities. These performance goals help your supervisor evaluate your accomplishments throughout the year. What you know today as expectations are now called tasks. Each goal must consist of at least one task to further define the goal expectation. These goal expectations are created using the SMART technique. Tasks should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Now let's review the phases of the performance management process. These will remain the same as today, a performance plan, interims review, and a final evaluation. Professional development is important, and we know employees want opportunities for professional growth. Within My Purpose, evaluators can assign development opportunities through Commonwealth U, as well as review employees' training transcripts. Performance management is an ongoing process of establishing clear expectations, providing feedback, and ensuring those expectations are achieved. This process is completed through three phases and system workflows. Evaluators will complete an annual performance planning task on all performance eligible employees, adding expectations for core competencies and creating three to five goals. What's the most important part of professional development and performance management? You, the employee, now you have the opportunity to provide feedback on these goals through a self-review. Managers will consider your feedback and make any adjustments if necessary. The next line supervisor will now review your annual goal plan prior to the evaluator and employee discussion and signature steps. Annual performance plans should be completed by January 31st. The mid-year interim starts with you. Completing a self-review gives you the opportunity to provide feedback to your manager on your performance. Then, the evaluator will add required comments to all competencies and goals. You and your evaluator should then meet to discuss your performance before completing the acknowledgement and signature step. Mid-year interim reviews should be completed by July 31st. The year-end interim and final evaluation are now combined into one review task in the system. Again, the year in interim will start with you. You will have the opportunity to provide feedback on your performance before your evaluator adds required comments to all competencies and goals. Once the year end interim acknowledgements have been completed, the evaluator may start the final evaluation and rate your performance. You and your evaluator should then meet to discuss your performance before before completing the acknowledgement and signature step. Year-end interim reviews and final rating should be completed by January 31st. You're more than a number. You can say goodbye to number rankings. The new rating scale best describes an employee's overall performance for the year. It also allows for more consistency across the Commonwealth. 
One thing that's not changing, your annual leave incentive days for performance evaluations. If you are eligible and qualify for annual leave incentive days for your final evaluation, you will receive these as you do with the current process. Performance Management in My Purpose offers many exciting features to ease the process of employee evaluations. Using the benefits of performance in My Purpose, the Commonwealth can empower, engage, and develop employees. The new electronic form and workflow will save you time and make the process more effective and efficient. The competency section has a suggested comment assistant feature to aid your evaluators in communicating effective, meaningful feedback. My Purpose offers a goals library. The goals library can assist evaluators with creating goals for you that are consistent with your job class specification. We encourage you to take advantage of the new self-review step where you can easily provide feedback on your performance. This can be continuous through the year between you and your evaluator on the My Goals page. You can be awarded performance-related badges as a form of recognition and appreciation. You can quickly access your 2020 and future performance reviews in the performance section of My Purpose. We hope you're excited for a more effective, detailed, and faster evaluation. You, your manager, and NextLine supervisor all play a key role and each step is important to everyone's success. Each step has responsibilities and actions that must be performed in order to ensure compliance of the performance management process. We hope you're excited about the enhancements to the performance management process and look forward to transitioning to this innovative modern approach to performance management and be on the lookout for an upcoming detailed system training for all evaluation eligible employees and managers. There are several helpful resources on the Personnel Cabinet Performance Management website, such as the new rating scale and competency definitions. Please review these resources for more detailed information. If you have any questions, please contact your agency HR office for assistance.